What's up everybody, Derek here. And today we are at Walmart. We're gonna look at some lures right here that make it easy for y'all if you're trying to go out there and find some white bass, sand bass, whatever you wanna call them, when they're running. So they go up shallow, so you want some cheap, easy lures to go find them. You don't need to overcomplicate things. It's that time of the year. So some of these lures are gonna catch you more than others, but there's two different ways, slow and a just a constant retrieve or a little bit of a, a hesitation so let's get into these lures all right guys as you can see we've got a ton of selection here so many lures you got some salt water down there because we're not too far from the ocean but you got all the essentials that you would need for white bass so if i was going to go in here and pick one right off the bat it's going to be one of these beetle spins now i'm really keen on a little bit smaller than the 1 8 but I, that's about as big as I would go would be this 1 8 right here but a lot of the creeks that muddy up and get kind of nasty upstream a lot of times so if you're going to want to go with one of these it's definitely going to put off a lot of flash and vibration I'm going to want something that's fluorescent because of that muddier water a lot of times but look at the price on that that's crazy so I love beetle spins but Sometimes they just don't want to hit it and the way that the current's flowing It's sometimes better to switch it up. So if you don't use a beetle spin There's some in here So many to choose from what would I go with? One of these rooster tails Now one eighth ounce is about one of my favorites. I'm not big on the gold blade, but I'm big on the silver blades so if I was going to go with one, it would be this one eighth ounce right here mimicking a shad. And the cool thing about these is that it presents a little bit different of a presentation because of the way that it spins, because of the way that the current flows. And you'll kind of understand that as some of these beetle spins when you're fishing with them, they will want to twirl or uh, because of the way the plastic's on there, you'll have to remove the plastics a lot of times. And this will make it just basically a cast out, give it a little pop and it'll start spinning right away for you. Now, if I'm gonna go after that, to get away from some moving baits for a second, I would go with the tube jig. And the good thing about tube jigs, whether it's a curly tail, so more of a swim bait type, those are usually the best and what I'm gonna go for. Now you actually have the swim baits that can be used, but if you're gonna go for a slower presentation to keep it in their face kind of twitching along whenever they're loaded up, maybe a cold front came through and they're just a little bit locked jawed. Maybe they're not wanting to eat as hard as some other times. You can get one of these on like a 1 32nd ounce or a 1 8th ounce jig head, 1 16th, any of these with something that's got some color to it because most of the time your creeks can get clear, your rivers can get clear up river. But a lot of times they can be muddy too. So you just gotta go play with the colors, but you can put these with a jig head on a bobber and just pop it along really slow and keep it in their face. And you'll catch some a lot of times when they're, nobody else is catching them really. Now another one to go with, Boat is right here. I've got two of them here that are side by side. Now, one of these Rebel cranks, you can actually crank it down. You get lots of vibration, and you can actually pause it, and you'll get a lot of strikes from one of these, especially with it being shallow up near the current. You'll get a lot of vibration. Give it a pause, and it'll give time for them when they're chasing to come up and just nab one of these things. These are a little bit more expensive than those other lures that we were looking at, but they are definitely worth it and they will definitely get some attention in some muddier water but since you can pause these there's another alternative here and it's this right here it's usually just a straight retrieve but it, lots of vibration and when they're really feeding hard as opposed to the beetle spin or the rooster tail these will catch them too and especially on the fall if they're right off the bank they will slam one of these just from a reaction well i hope that helped guys these are some of the basic lures that I look for. I try to go easy, make it simple, because you overcomplicate things a lot of times when you go fishing. If you're trying to find those white bass, you use some of these lures that I just pointed out, and you're probably gonna have a good chance of catching them. But thanks for watching you guys, and subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video if you liked it, and I'll see you guys in the next 